Well, former President Pranab Mukherjee breathed his last earlier today. That's right, viewers. He was 84. Pranab Mukherjee had undergone brain surgery at the Army Research and Referral Hospital and was on ventilator support. He had also contracted COVID-19. Mukherjee's condition deteriorated further after he suffered a spetic shock due to lung infection. In his long political career, Mukherjee served as an MP seven times. Before becoming the President of India in 2012, he had, at different points of time, been the Chief Whip of the Congress Parliamentary Party and also the former Defence Minister. An expert in several fields, he has also occupied important positions in finance portfolios and at one point of time was considered the second most powerful leader in the Congress. That's right viewers, starting off here with the big story at this point in time as former President Pranab Mukherjee breathed his last earlier today. He was 84 years old. Pranab Mukherjee had undergone brain surgery at the Army Research and Referral Hospital and was on ventilator support. He had also contracted COVID-19. Pranab Mukherjee's conditions deteriorated further after he suffered spetic shock due to lung infection. In his long illustrious political career, Mukherjee served as an MP for seven times. Before becoming the President of India in 2012, he had at different points been the Chief Whip of the Congress Parliamentary Party and also the former Defence Minister. An expert in several fields, he has also occupied important positions in finance portfolios and at one point of time was even considered the second most powerful leader in the Congress. Pranab Mukherjee's political journey started in West Bengal in the 1969 by-election in Midnapur when he was the election agent for VK Krishna Menon who ran as an independent candidate. He caught the eye of Siddhartha Shankar Re who recommended him to Indira Gandhi who gave him a Rajya Sabha seat. Thus, at the age of 35, Mukherjee entered the Rajya Sabha. Starting off as a protege of Indira Gandhi, who stood beside her during the emergency, Mukherjee came to be known as a crisis manager who commanded the respect of all and had friends across the aisle. The once Congress stalwart wore many hats over the last five decades in public life and 37 years in parliament. He was conferred the Bharat Ratna last year. Besides serving two terms as Finance Minister, Mukherjee also held the post of Commerce Minister in 1993 and is known for championing the cause of trade liberalisation. When the Congress-led United Progressive Alliance or the UPA came into power in, 2000, in 2004, Mukherjee won a Lok Sabha seat, the popularly elected lower house of the parliament, for the first time. From then on, until his resignation in 2012, Mukherjee was practically number two in Prime Minister Manmohan Singh's government. Interestingly though, Mukherjee, nicknamed Poltuda, had come close to becoming the Prime Minister in 2012. In his own words, he got a sense that he could replace Manmohan Singh, who could be sent to Rashtrapati Bhavan. But destiny had other plans. Mukherjee served as the 13th President of India from 2012 until 2017. In 2017, Mukherjee decided not to run for re-election and to retire from politics after leaving the presidency due to health complications relating to old age. His term expired on the 25th of July 2017. He was succeeded as President by Ramnath Govind. In June 2018, Mukherjee became the first former President of India to address a Rashtriya Swami Swayam Sevak Sang event, raising eyebrows from different quarters. And tributes have started to pour in on social media after the demise of former President Pranab Mukherjee. 
President Ramnath Kovind paid tributes to his predecessor by stating that his demise is the passing of an era and recalled how, as a president, Mukherjee continued to connect with people while bringing the Rashtrapati Bhavan closer to the people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed grief at the news of Mukherjee's assing away. I beg your pardon, the news of Mukherjee's passing away. The Prime Minister recalled when he was new to Delhi after becoming the Prime Minister for the first time in 2014. He was blessed to have the guidance of Mukherjee as the President from the first day itself. Vice President N. Venkaya Naidu also expressed grief at the passing of Mukherjee and stated that he had brought dignity and decorum to every post held by him during his long and distinguished public service. Home Minister Amit Shah also joined in paying rich tributes to the former president and said that Mukherjee's distinguished career is a matter of great pride for the entire nation. Also paying tributes to Mukherjee was Defence Minister Rajnath Singh who said that his demise is a personal loss and said that Mukherjee had tremendous knowledge of India's history, diplomacy, public policy and defence. Well, Manipur Governor Najma Heptullah also expressed her condolences on the demise of the former president. While speaking to Northeast Life, Editor-in-Chief Wasbir Hussain, Heptullah said that everyone used to look up to Mukherjee for guidance. Your first reactions, ma'am, on the passing away of Bharat Ratna and former president Mr. Pranam Mukherjee. I'm very sad and it's a very sad news for the country because the country has lost a great leader a great son of India. He was uh, given Bharat Ratna, but he was really himself a Bharat Ratna. Because uh, whatever role it was given to him, he did it to the best of his ability. And people will remember not only in one role as a president of India, but also as a leader, a great leader of the Rajya Sabha and the pa great parliamentarian and uh, whatever position he had, he did his best. I had a opportunity to work with him since 1980, and when I became the member of parliament and he was the leader of the Rajya Sabha, uh, I remember the young MPs used to look up to him as a guidance uh, for parliamentary work which we are doing and uh, he was a great he, we, he was a great guide and friend and philosopher to me uh, he was a family friendship with his daughter Sarmishta and his son so I had very good relation uh, with him Nazma Abdullah Right. Nazma Atullah Ji, you know, uh, you have been both parliamentarians, you had worked together, as you yourself said, that you had a very, very close association with uh, Pranabda. Uh, would you today want to recollect any interesting anecdote, any interesting traits of Pranab Mukherjee, the man? Yes, I remember <clears throat> two issues. Once I traveled with him to Saudi Arabia when Mrs. Indira Gandhi went to Saudi Arabia on a trip and I was there and Pranabda was also there. And there the, one of the ministers from the Saudi government made a presentation, proper presentation of the development of the of their country. And Mrs. Indira Gandhi looked at Pranam Mukherjee and asked him to do it. And without a piece of paper he spoke so well with all the facts and figures about the country and development of the country. And it was amazing that a person could speak from his memory. He had a very, very good memory. For one hour, he spoke. Right. And I traveled with him also a couple of times. I traveled with him to Sundarban area for the election campaign when he was the, uh, he was the president of the Bengal, West Bengal Congress Committee. 
and the elections are going on. I traveled with him. Was yes. A simple man. Yes. As a habit, he was very simple. He all sat on the ground and ate the food, the rice and dal and sabzi. Then he didn't have any difficulty in, you know, very, very simple person in right. his life. Right. My final question to you, uh, you know, he was a leader which was accepted by the entire political class, cutting across party lines. And that is very rare to find these days. Yes, he was, uh, he was cut across the party line, he was accepted as a leader. Because, and that shows that he had that leadership quality to be accepted by everybody. And that was a great thing. Everybody respected him. And I'm sure today everyone who knew him even from far, Mr. Absolutely. Mr. Nazma Abdullah, the governor of Manipur, thank you very much for speaking to me. And Assam Governor Jagdish Mukhi also condoled Mukherjee's demise. Speaking to Northeast Life editor in chief Waspir Hussain, Mukhi recalled Mukherjee as someone who was popular across all political parties. Listen in. I am now joined by Professor Jagdish Mukhi, the governor of Assam. Uh, governor Jagdish Mukhi, you know, how would you react to the passing away of Bharat Ratna and former president, Mr. Pranab Mukherjee? First of all, I pray God that he should be rest, his soul should be rest to peace. And I have my sympathies with the all family members of the family right how how do you remember we call him, him we call him pranav da i have been very much closely associated with him i have seen his functioning during the days of narasimha rao and i have seen the days when he was ousted from the congress high but because of his honesty hard work and his capability and treating equally to all the political parties. He had made his uh, place uh, and he was the most successful uh, finance minister, uh, uh, foreign minister, as well as defense minister during various regimes. And as a president of India, he has uh, shown a path uh, how the president should behave after coming to this uh, position. I think uh, he has proved to be a neutral uh, president in the country. And, right. uh, and uh, uh, I, I, I think uh, uh, he not only proved uh, good in his every position where he worked, uh, he proved to be a troubleshooter for any problem within the government or in the party or they are in the Congress. How, I, how do you react, react you know, to the fact that he was, a, he was a leader who was accepted by people from all political parties, cutting across the party spectrum. Yes, I do agree with you. It is because uh, he never uh, tried to distinguish on the basis of uh, party or the faith or religion of anybody. I give you one example where I have seen experience personally. You know well that he was invited uh, over a function by yes. RSS uh, in its headquarters at Nagpur. Yes. But uh, the Congress party and other people some people created hue and cry that he should not go at all. But uh, he stuck to his point. He said, I must go and I must put my viewpoint. He was uh, very vocal over there after going over there. He went there, he spoke, and he impressed the RSS worker over there also. Not only he won the sympathies of RSS workers and RSS, he also came close to RSS to know what is the ground reality over there. When you have this open attitude, then only you can come to this status of what he achieved in the country. Absolutely. Bharat Ratna, no, not a matter of joke there. Professor Jagdish Mukhi, the governor of Assam, thank you very much for speaking to thank me on North East Life. And we now have reactions coming in from Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma. Listen in. We are very uh, saddened to hear the demise of uh, uh, the late uh, Pranam Mukherjee, who was a former president of India. 
I remember my late father, Sri P. S. Sangma, always speaking very highly about uh, late Prabhupada Mukherjee. In fact, he used to tell us that he was a person who was uh, very efficient at what he used to do. Uh, he was a person who had facts and figures at his fingertip and a person who really knew the subjects that he was looking into. And those are the memories at least I have of what uh, my late father used to tell me about uh, late Pranab Mukherjee. I think uh, he has contributed immensely to the nation and to the people uh, in different capacities and I think it's a great, great loss for this nation and I would like to express our deepest condolences to him, uh, to his family and uh, uh, we pray to Almighty that uh, they would give, uh, that uh, God would give the family strength to bear this great loss that they had and may his soul rest in eternal peace. Meanwhile, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal also took to Twitter and condoled the death of the former president. Assam Health and Finance Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma also took to social media to pay tribute to the former president's demise while stating that a legend has left the world today. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh also condoled the death of Pranab Mukherjee and tweeted that the former president's death has left a political vacuum that can never be filled. Tripura Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Deb also paid tributes to Mukherjee while stating that it is the end of an era and was an inspiration to many. Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh Pima Khandu also expressed his deepest condolences and said that the nation has lost a legendary leader and a statesman.